a game world full of sand, the developers have decided to make a new and improved game with even more sand. These developers really like sand for some reason. I mean, seriously, guys. First Age of Conan, now June? Let's not mention the other four games, either way. The game we're talking about today is June Awakening, an open-world survival MMO set in the desert, much like its predecessors. It is set in the June universe, or the Dune universe, but I was saying June because that's just how my accent is. Much like Conan Excels, it was themed around Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian books, June will be featuring Frank Herbert's sci-fi world and will closely resemble the lore within the original tale. For Conan Exiles players and people who frequent my channel, June will be like our version of Conan Exiles 2 but new and improved and it will be set much more in the future so expect like a new engine and things should be better than the current engine that we are used to on Unreal 4. June is set in a harsh world setting. The familiar sandstorms in Conan Exiles will be back with a vengeance in this game and will most likely be a bigger threat to deal with than it was in Exiles. Not only that, I imagine there will be many more natural disasters and events that will make the landscape of this game ever changing. That being said, in June there are lots of underground wonders so we could witness those as well so don't worry about it being entirely sand. In June spices everything, it is an extremely valuable resource that is fought over by the factions of the June universe, which I imagine we will be dabbling with as they are a huge part of the story of June. Spices like diamonds in Minecraft or star metal in Conan Exiles, that's kind of like your equivalent of what spice is going to be like in this game. So top of the food chain type of resources we're looking at here. Spice is usually found out in the middle of the desert in the most dangerous places in the dunes. In this case, you'll probably have to travel out to the big wide open sandy deserts and you have the threat of huge sandworms. So they're like huge leviathan like creatures that can swallow entire armies whole. So I imagine you will have to go from point A to B get safely past the worms and be able to farm the spice and whilst you're farming the spice you can also be contested by other people as well as these giant scary worms so you definitely have to be careful when you want to go and get that most valuable resource in this game when we play we will most likely be looking at finding spice fields to harvest and you'll probably be contested while attempting to harvest the spice like i was mentioning so it's much like the purge mechanic on kinetic cells or you could have other players trying to intercept your harvest. If you're lucky enough to collect some spice for yourself and bring it back to safety, then you'll be able to use it as currency or consume it for power. I imagine spice will have its own attribute tree and unlock some skills if you're consuming it. Earlier we talked about factions. June Awakening has already confirmed we will be able to make our own guilds that will be classed as minor houses under the influence of major houses. I don't know how extensive our time will be with major houses, but in normal Dune, there are three ones that come to mind. House Atreides, the hero, House Harkonnen, the villain, and House Carino, the imperial family. You also have the Fremen, the native people of Arrakis, the world of Dune is set in. This being said, there are many more houses in Dune's lore, so Funcom could use these or they could use less prevalent houses to demonstrate the story we have here. Much like Conan, Dune will have base building. With how the landscape is, you'll probably want to choose your spot very carefully as to avoid any harsh weather or ravenous worms. Like I said previously, Dune is more modernised than Conan Excels is, so expect to be cruising around in tanks and planes instead of hopping on the back of your horse. You will be doing the familiar resource grinding, filling bars and meters up like most other survival games. One factor that sticks out particularly in Dune though is water. You are in a desert, water is hard to come by. But fear not, you have a still suit. So enjoy drinking up your own filtered bodily fluids. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you had a system in place for those where you upgrade and change them out for better still suits than previous ones you have with the game's currency and the naturally recurring resources. Anyways, let me know what you think about this game in the comments. 
but now we can get into a few of the grittier details about this. Do I think this game will involve a monetary system? Absolutely, it is no secret Funcom have their own hired MTX specialist and unfortunately this is something that has become more and more common in the modern gaming world. As well as that, MTX is fully integrated into Conan Excel's Funcom's biggest MMO game at the moment. They have described in the past that this is what they're using to keep the lights on and the updates out. So it'd be no surprise if Dune would follow a similar model of having a cosmetic shop and a battle pass integrated on release. This is not hard and stone fact though, so it could be without one, it could be with one. This is just me speculating that there probably will be one from what we are seeing in the past and what they have in the company. It would be very weird if they did not. Either way, that is a sum up of what is coming next, and this game is what a lot of the fans from Conan Exiles will be going towards, I imagine, as June is Funcom's next biggest game and project coming out early 2024. So if you fancied a new desert adventure with a similar feel to our beloved Conan Exiles, then this is where to look, as it won't have the issues of the previous engine, as this will be on the newer version of the Unreal Engine. Personally, from looking into it more, I am excited for the game and I hope it's really good. I have enjoyed a similar Dune game that is made by Shiro Games called Dune Spice Wars. It is an RTS game, but it is based in the same universe. So if you wanted something to play before this one comes out, then I recommend giving the artist version a try, as it gives you a really good idea on what the new game will be like. My only concern with Dune is that they're aiming for a massively multiplayer style and it is their first defining tag of the game on the Steam market. Amongst other flavour texts from articles and pages about the game that describe the game as a world shared by thousands of players. I'm worried they might run into the same issues Last Oasis had, which upon launch felt like a really epic and fun game to play, but then the numbers of people dwindled, as they do naturally in any life cycle of games, because people's interests shift or they max out as much as possible and they don't have anything more to do. It became harder to enjoy the game because activities that relied on having people to attend them you wouldn't be able to do, or you'd barely come across any other players for PvP encounters, or you'd get unfortunate enough and come across a major clan of 40 odd people who'd wait like wipe you off the face of the planet, you'd be gone, and then you'd be sent straight back to square one. What it is, it is one of those games I feel like relies on having a bunch of people playing to make it fun. Don't get me wrong, it's still viable solo, but it's a whole different ball game with friends. So if Dune doesn't set up well to cater for solo activities as well, you could have this problem of the game losing a lot of life after the first initial launch, and it will never really recover. Saying this, it could just be like Canon Exiles MMO style, which doesn't really depend on you having a big player, fueled activities, and is more of an open choice. You could play it either way. So you could play it solo, or you could play it with friends, or you could play it in a massive group. It's up to you. You could play it in PvE or PvP. Maybe it'll be more like Conan Exiles in that way, or maybe they'll be going for something bigger. Who knows? Reading their page, it does feel like they're shooting for the stars a bit more on this one. So we'll have to see what they say and what comes out in, uh, well, future updates. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Are you thinking about getting the game and why? I'll be looking to cover it on the channel when it comes out. So if you want to see it and what it's like to determine if the game's for you, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.